Hi, it's Elle from Boostnote. Some of you may find that most of the old videos are inaccessible already. We did that because we launched a new Boostnote last December, and the UI in the videos are already outdated. Since we changed the UI entirely, we decided to post brand new quick tutorials with my voiceover. We keep improving the new app with the Boostnote community, and we are thinking to post feature update videos sometimes too. Our first quick video is about how to change the color theme in Boostnote. Here is a new Boostnote app, and I open one of the tutorials as my example. To change the UI theme, you need to go to the preference page. You can access to the preference page from the top left corner, and you can see this icon here, and if you click that, you will see this preferences page. To change the UI theme, you need to go to the general section and you will see this application theme area. For example, if you want to change the dark theme to light theme, you need to choose this light theme here and you can see that whole UI is not light theme. Of course, if you close this page, you can see the whole section is light theme now. Okay, now let's change the editor theme to something different one. To do that, you need to open the preferences page again and now, you need to go to the editor section. You will see this editor theme here. For example, if you want to change the editor theme from default to base 16 light, you need to choose this one, and you can see that this area has changed. So this is editor preview, so you can see that how the actual editor look like. Let's change to the different one again. So from base 16 light to, for example, like solarized dark, so it will be like this. Now let's check how it has changed. So this area was white before, but now it's solarized dark. So it's kind of greenish, bluish color, and you can change the editor area like this. And the last step in this video is about code block. So in the editor, you can see this HTML here, and in the preview, you can see this one here. To change this color, you also need to go to the preferences page. So click here once again, and now you need to go to the markdown section. You will see this preview style as well as code block theme. Now you want to change the code block theme, so you need to change it from, for example, from default to let's try Dracula. Now you could see this area has changed as well. So this is also preview. So if you close this preferences page again, now if you see the code block area, you can see that this whole section has changed as well. It was white background color before, but now this one has black color background as well as syntax highlight is different as well. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure to thumbs up if you like it or find it helpful even a bit. Let us know what kind of tutorials you want to watch in our videos, and we will post regarding that as much as we can. And last but not least, if you found anything inconvenient or good ideas to improve the product, feel free to send us issues and pull requests on GitHub. Looking forward to see you in the next one, and have an awesome day! Bye!